Hey guys, I was going to start off, if you don't mind, talking about social injustice and the program we have at Tulane. And uh, DeAndre spearheads this for us, DeAndre Williams. And we're going to have a few other guys that are going to come on, but we call it the wave of change. And these guys have done a phenomenal job of bringing attention to a lot of the things that are going on right now and in our society and the Black Lives Movement. And I, I'm just really proud of the guys. We're, we're getting ready to make a donation to, to uh, United Way for the people out in, in uh, uh, western uh, Louisiana. And then we're also wanting to make a donation of Black Lives Movement. But the thing we're trying to just uh, look at is, you know, uh, the, the police brutality that's going on across the nation. And we had another incident that happened back in March last evening. And, and we have a lot of dialogue with these guys. We took Monday off the other day and we just had group conversations and I've got uh, so many, uh, uh, you know, th this is for all our current and, and former players that I've got and uh, coaches that I've worked with and it's just a really important event. So we got all this stuff going on, getting ready for a first game, taking all these tough classes at Tulane. We're in the midst of a pandemic and these guys are also juggling you know, uh, social justice, social injustice, and I think just doing a tremendous job with it. I'm very proud of them. We're going to do this all the time. This isn't a, uh, you know, something that's going to happen in a day or two days or three days. You know, it's just something that we're, we're talking about on a, uh, every, every single day. And uh, we want to promote positive change. That's, that's a huge deal for us. And uh, we, we know that... Uh, uh, you know, that uh, if, if we stay positive and everybody comes together, particularly people like me, it's very, very important that uh, we can promote positive change. And uh, I, I'm going to try to do a great job of being more vocal about it as something that's a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I'm a pretty humble person and I, I try to stay away from attention as much as I can. But I think it's important for all of us to be aware of it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to DeAndre and let him visit with you. How y'all doing? Uh, I just wanna give y'all a little bit about the vision of Wave of Change. Our vision is to bring awareness to as many people as possible about police brutality. As student uh, athletes, we wanna use our platform in a positive way to create change. You know, it's a lot of things going on in our country that is gonna take people to be uncomfortable. It's gonna take people to try their best to be sympath have sympathy for the other people. And that's very important in our um, vision as a wave of change. We got a lot of things going on. The guys really work hard to bring awareness to everything. Coach Fritz and uh, Tuna Athletics, they're giving us power in our voices and they're allowing us to do everything that we feel is necessary to bring awareness to this situation. We, like Coach said, we've had meetings where we've had tough dialogue where coaches and players open up about things that they wouldn't normally open up about. We are actually making a, a tremendous effort to make a change in our small circle and hopefully that small circle can expand our country. If we bring a team aspect that we have and spread it to the world, the world will be a better place. I'm lucky I get to get the opportunity to coach uh, you know, guys like DeAndre and Sam Brookhouse is going to visit with you and Keon Howard and and uh, these guys put the committee together. As soon as the, you know, you know, after the tragic event with George Floyd, uh, quite a few months back, seems like a year ago. You know, we've been, <laughs> we were, we we're all quarantined at that time. These guys put this group together, and uh, we've had, you know, the, the meeting on Monday. You know, there, there's some stuff that you, you listen to that you're just amazed that that goes on, and uh, and uh, you know. Uh, I, I, I have never walked in, in a lot of these guys' shoes. And uh, I'm just so proud of them that they're promoting positive change on our campus in New Orleans. And this is a, a group that we're going to have go on for as long as I'm here. I know that. Hopefully that's a long time. Anybody got any questions for us? Coach, can you talk about exactly what you did on Monday? We just, you know, what we did. We get, we got into groups, and, I, and I, we did it first in groups. And the reason for that is these guys are really, you know, DeAndre and the defensive linemen have got a bond that's different than maybe the running back group or the 
wide receiver group or whatever. They know each other really well. They know their coaches really well, the coach at position. Plus, right now, we just we can't get everybody together. You know, our meetings are via Zoom, and we have team meetings, or we go into a gymnasium, and we're spread out throughout the gymnasium. And it's, and it's not really eyeball to eyeball like you would like to have these meetings. But I had the opportunity to kind of bounce around from meeting to meeting and just listen to the dialogue. I contributed a little bit as much as I could. You know, from my experiences, they're certainly different than, than DeAndre's experiences. But it just talked about some things that, that happened. I, I mean, you know, I, I never had this conversation with my father, but they talked about, you know, what do you do when you get stopped? You know, by, by a police officer, what do you do? You know, and these guys talked about that. And one thing I want to, I've got so many former players that are police officers. We've got a bunch of guys on our team whose fathers are, are police officers. And, they, and for the most part, they do an awesome job. But uh, one mistake is one too many. And we just want to make sure that, uh, you know, that, well, number one, uh, you know, Coach McCleskey, Coach Dawson, Coach Fobbs, you know, uh, Coach uh, John, Josh Christian Young, uh, you know, they, they've told some of their experiences. Coach Joseph, you know, that they've had you know, throughout uh, their lives. And uh, so that was one big thing that we talked about. And, and uh, you know, and I think it's eye-opening uh, to uh, uh, a lot of our white student athletes. And uh, I, I, could, I could, you know, hear the compassion in their voice while they were talking to their, their brothers, their buddies, you know, and it just is uh, uh, it's something that we got to change. And, and uh, we want to we want to be part of the positive change here at Tulane. This is us wanting, you know, people to to, you know, a lot of these guys are hurting, you know, and, and uh, they're frustrated, and and uh, you know, I can only imagine how they feel. Um, DeAndre, what what concrete goals do you want? Are there any specifics that you guys want to accomplish on this issue, or um, what, what exactly are you looking to do here? Uh, it's, it's very, it's very, very simple. We just want to bring attention and awareness to the situation and don't let the, let it die down because it'll happen. Someone a black will die from police brutality and we hear about it for a couple of weeks and protest for a couple of weeks and you don't hear about it until the next incident. The thing we're trying to do with our move, uh, our change is to keep it at the front, the front and keep everybody knowing that, okay, this is something that constantly happens on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis. Um, it's, it's very hard to say anything more than that because our circle is so small and it's gonna take a long time for anything big to really change. You know, we got everybody on the team registered to vote. We've handed out Black Lives Matter masks. We, we are taking steps to make a bigger change, but it, it's, it's very small at the moment because it's just Tulane football and Tulane athletics. Taking the Monday off and not practicing was that a just how did that come about for you guys? Was that planned all along, or did that come at the last minute? How did that work? It came to us by Coach Fritz. We were already kind of thinking of something that we can do because we see everything that's going on in America. Coach Fritz came to us and he was like, "Well, you guys, well, let's talk about taking Monday off. Take a day that's supposed to be dedicated to football, and let's dedicate it to a bigger cause. Have guys come in and share stories. We organized it." And we had questions that we asked and the conversation, you guys wouldn't believe how good they went. We had set questions and it's like, we'll ask the first one and the conversation just led us to the second one, led us to the third one, led us to the fourth one. And we ended our conversation with just bringing it all back together as a team and reminding everybody why we're here. You know, and it was, it, it, the best thing about the meeting was these guys made everybody participate. <laughs> there wasn't anybody sitting in the back corner. Everybody was answering questions, and uh, it, it was because uh, everybody's got different experiences. And it, it was, I, I thought it was, it was very, I know it's very beneficial for me. And uh, I'm, I'm glad they have this platform. And, you know, and I, I, a day doesn't go by that I don't speak to one of my former players. Not a day. And, you know, these guys, you know, it's, this is going on across the country. I got guys working all over the place. I got, Bunch of guys playing the NFL. I got a bunch of guys that are school teachers. I got a bunch of guys that are police officers, and and uh, you know, and and it's it's a bunch of people are hurting about this, and and we just want to br bring positive change. 
that's one of the things we, we talk about all the time. I tell Deanna, let's do something positive, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, we're, we're going to go this uh, Saturday. We're going to help, you know, with the United Way and packing some bags for the people who've uh, moved and evacuated Lake Charles and come over here. And, you know, we've had a bunch of people that, you know, have uh, visited with us in the summer, but we're going to also have some, some other people come in and, and speak to our team. Coach Hunter, our, our men's basketball coach, has set up Andrew Young to come speak to uh, uh, our football team and also speak to the basketball team, obviously, via Zoom. And hopefully you all know who you know, Andrew Young is. But uh, you know, I think that's going to be incredible. I'm, I'm telling my guys just to research him. I know all about him. I'm a history buff and a former ambassador of the United Nations and mayor of Atlanta forever. And, you know, he was with Dr. King when he was assassinated. You know, so just a, an incredible man, and, and uh, it's going to be a, a really neat deal. I really appreciate Coach Hunter getting that set up for us.